We'll just go into it in a little more detail and have a quick look at how you disassemble it. Um, you know, I went through this process already just to make sure I had it figured out. So hopefully the video will go smoother. So the first thing we'll do for now, I'll, I'll take the quick disconnect off of here just to make it you know, a little easier. Uh, I'll mount this obviously on a bow um, very shortly, but for now, just take that off. And uh, so this just twists off. And, and again, I've already loosened this up, so, but it's, it's not that hard to, to break it loose. Okay. That'll pop off, and we're gonna get the scale here because we're gonna weigh these weights and just see you know, where it's where it stands. So this should have two one ounce weights, which are here, and these are just gonna screw off a little bit snug, but they're coming. And this is a uh, a standard. Um, stabilizer mounting bolt. Uh, it's the same bolt um, that you would use uh, to mount, you know, extra weight and that sort of thing. So this thing is bound up here. So let me uh, see if I can get it loose. Okay. Um, I have to resort to using this uh, 530 seconds. Uh, a hex wrench here um, that is snug enough that I can't get it off by hand there now it's loosened up some but let's go ahead and work it the rest of the way out and that bolt size is uh, 5 16 by 24 um, as this uh, mounting stud uh, you will see occasionally some some varieties of stabilizers I think it's a quarter inch stud now that they have but a lot of them if not the majority are still using this 5 16 about 24 so it looks like you could remove this stud from the actual end cap here yeah yeah you could and then put a longer stud in if you wanted to add more more weight here but um that's the disassembly of that part. And then if you were to want to swap these bands out, um, you just you use a, a slotted screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and pop those up out of there. Um, I, you know, you'd want to be pretty gentle with that, I believe, um, so you didn't tear them. I'm not going to remove those for now because I'm going to leave the yellow in there. Now, to get to this one, you just remove this, uh, what, what's it called here? Oh, it's, uh, according to Trophy Ridge, they call this the static body. Uh, that's this section from the stabilizer rod. Yeah, see, this will just pop out. And then you can get to the color ring. So you see this will pops out of there. It's kind of a, a rubber piece. You could pop that out and then swap the ring out and then you just have a you know, kind of it looks like it's carbon uh, carbon tube here uh, so then you know once you made the switch uh, you can put this back on and it'll seat down firmly against the threaded area there so let's have a look just real quick I'm pretty sure they'd be right on with these weights but let's just check them out Since the scale is there. Okay. Go to ounces. So these are supposed to be one ounce each. And we have 0.98. And 1.97. And then together, we have 1.95. So, uh, yeah, really close. They're not dead on an ounce, but... Um, I think it's fine. I mean, uh, it should serve the purpose uh, just fine the way it is. But you know, if you desire more weight or something like that, um, you definitely, it wouldn't be that hard to add more weight uh, to this. 
you know, if you really wanted to. It would also extend the length a little bit depending on how much weight you put on, you know, additional weight that you put on there. So real quick, let's just put it back together. Um, let's see if I have this on there the right way. Not sure that it matters, but yeah, this will, these will just twist on. Let me just look at it and see if that's what I want. That looks pretty good. There, okay. So that's the end cap with the uh, two ounces of weight on. And then this will just twist on. Pretty simple. And snug it up. And there you go. Uh, so, and this is, uh, you know, for the quick disconnect, but this also has the um, 5 sixteenths by 24 uh, thread on this side as well. I believe that's going to be 5 sixteenths by 24. Uh, it sure looks like it. So, yeah, which again is that standard uh, mounting thread. All right, so there's a look at how to change the uh, the color bands on this. I um, would imagine that the longer versions that Trophy Ridge makes of this would be um, pretty much the similar or the same process. So um, there we have it. Uh, we'll look at this a little more in depth uh, once I get it mounted onto my, I think I'll put this one on my Z7.